Sean Diddy Combs' empire is on fragile ground. Feds raiding two of his homes just this week in connection with a sex trafficking investigation. This comes in light of the hip-hop mogul facing a growing number of accusations of sexual assault. A new Washington Post piece notes this marks a stark contrast from the image Diddy has portrayed over the years. Senior critic at large, Robert Given, writing, quote, while others might have emphasized their tough guy bona fides, their experiences in prison or the dangers of their childhood, Combs painted a picture of a kind of hero. He put a Gatsby-esque sheen on whatever he touched, and he had his hands on everything. Robin Javon joins me now. Robin, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining. And your piece, as always, excellent and so thought-provoking. As you know, he has been involved in a number of ventures. But in light of what is happening, the, there was all the white parties, there's a, a charter school, there's um, Ciroc, just to name a few, Sean John. Right. Tell me about the cultural impact that he has made. Well, I think when you look back on his career, he was at the very forefront of that sort of generation of, of hip hop uh, performers and producers who really aspired to be something beyond that. They wanted to be moguls. They wanted to build empires. And he really started that. And, you know, when he started Sean John, it was 1998. And, you know, he was, first of all, one of the first ce celebrities who entered the fashion arena. But he did it in a way that was very much about becoming part of that industry. You know, he courted editors. He started going to fashion shows. He did it in a way that suggested that he wanted to do it for the long haul, that it wasn't just dabbling. And he just kept building on that. And I think in many ways, he wanted to create this picture of himself as a kind of, you know, gilded age titan. And, you know, and not that hip hop was bootlegging, but I think there was a lot of that sense of wanting to polish up the image of the culture that he was coming out of. And that's what he did. Is that all on shaky ground now in light of all these allegations? I mean, you look at how quickly we begin to evaluate one's legacy mm -hmm. in light of allegations, in spite of the presumption of innocence that certainly are there Absolutely. and there has been no charges. Yeah, I mean, he's denied all the accusations. There haven't been any charges. But already we're starting to see that some of the companies and organizations that were affiliated with him have started to back away. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, the idea of guilty until proven innocent, when you've lived so much of your professional life in the public, you tend to be quite quickly judged by that public. You know, when you look at um, some of the accusations, I think there is a collective immediate recollection mm -hmm. of the Me Too movement and the broader Hollywood context. Um, I wonder how you look at these charges in light of the Me Too movement. Is this something similar on the horizon here more broadly? Well, I mean, I think there's definitely, um, you know, it, they're definitely related because some of these charges uh, came out because of the extension of the, the uh, statute of limi limitations. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also think that it, it just really sort of calls, makes me wonder if on the road to building these empires, if there is just always some sort of trail of you know, alleged devastation and disillusionment and pain. I mean, you know, he wanted to build this enormous multi-million dollar empire, and he certainly did, and then started getting into philanthropy. And I think it raises perhaps some cynical questions about, you know, where is that philanthropy coming from? Is it coming out of guilt or is it coming from, you know, a different place? I think not that, you know, I'm putting those things on, you know, Sean Combs, but I think this raises those questions because we see this so often. We are really in the infancy of the investigation and those questions are yet to be answered and I suspect there'll be hundreds more by yeah. the time we learn even the next step.